welcome uh, this first time, right? Brother uh, uh, Boy. Um, boy. Uh, I was here last week. Oh, you were in Sunday school last week? Oh, amen. Oh, <laughs> And that was the first time you were with us in tennis as well, yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a lot of activities. That's busy. That's great. Father, we are so grateful that we can be in your house today mm -hmm. to study your word. Pray, Lord, that you just uh, give us the, all of us here, Lord, the wisdom to understand what we need to understand, Lord. We thank you for the Bible that you have preserved for us. When we come to it, uh, all matters of faith and practices. So thank you for this Bible, Lord. We just commit the rest of this day to you. Pray even, Lord, for uh, uh, Brother Rod. And well, Lord, we uh, will be back here with us uh, soon. And Father, we just ask that you cleanse our hearts from any unrighteousness yes. that we have done for this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, today we're going to study a... Uh, uh, have you guys... Had fun reading the uh, Revelation, the book no. of Revelation. Yeah. It is so scary. fun, it is scary, it is confusing, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult in short. It's difficult. So now we're going to take a look at uh, some, some, uh, some verses from the Word of God. And here's what we're going to study. You are familiar with the Mark of the Beast, right? The Mark of the Beast. And uh, as far as the, the as far as the information we gather from the Word of God, it is clearly stated there that is that the mark of the beast is three uh, three six hundred sixty six, right? The six six six. If it's there, and we'll see it, see it later. But what what exactly does it look like? How is it going to appear in the forehead or in the body of a person? Right? So there's a lot of speculation what it is, but uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, at the Word of God. It is there. It's just for us to really, really understand. And mind you, even if we study that, we pick it up, we understood some, we do not understood, understand some, or we just get confused, it doesn't really matter because by the time that appears, we're no longer here. Right? <laughs> but why do you have to study it? I want to study it so I could warn, I could warn my loved ones about it. And let me give you a, let me give you a testimony. My wife is here. Before I got married with with my wife, um, she has been inviting me to come, come to come to church. Instead of I was I was at the gym. Instead of getting drunk and doing all this this uh, nasty thing, why don't you come to church? Amen. I don't want to come to church. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want to anything to uh, have anything to do with the Bible. But you, you know what? There is something that uh, well, by the way, during the time she 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 was working for me. I I, I was her boss. Now she's now my boss. <laughs> but, she so she told me something that just stuck in my mind. Okay, what's that? Uh when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, okay, we were having some coffee somewhere with a lot of guys with uh, Nick, uh, Pintas. We were all, all of us were unsaved. If Adelia was unsaved, I was unsaved, and she was the only one saved. And we're having coffee somewhere. There's a, a bunch of us, and this what she said: Whatever happens, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, and and the uh, I disappear, and uh, do you you see a lot of people disappear? Here's what he said. Do not take the mark of the beast. That's what he said. So, you know what? Do not take the mark of the beast. And she was so serious about it. And uh, you know, first I didn't just I just brushed it off. But you know, I said, what if she, she, she don't take the mark of the beast? I'm, I am bad, but I'm also scared of the beast, right? <laughs> but today, I I that stuck in my mind, and uh, I said. Okay, so what, what, what is it? But just, just don't take the mark of the beast. Well, okay. So now when I, when I got saved, I remembered when one Sunday school, one, one uh, Sunday uh, in the dispensational studies, we, we got hold of this, this lesson, I get the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Now I understood why she doesn't want me to take the mark of the beast. She wanted to see me in heaven. <laughs> but anyways, I get scared of that. 
-hmm. And the reason why we study it, and the reason why I still want I continue, continue to, to want to continue to study that, so that I could warn those people that I need to warn, mm -hmm. not only those that I love, anybody who's interested to know what that is. Give them a warning. Maybe they can get saved. They can get scared the way I got scared. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. So here we are. What is the mark of the beast? Uh, let's see. Now here's here's the Revelation 13:6. You can go to that uh, verse, but this will make it uh, make it easier. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So it is specified there where? In your right hand? Mm -hmm. Why not on the left? And the Bible says in their right hand, mm -hmm. right? Uh, or in their forehead. So it could be here, it could be in the forehead. But see, look at that. And he, that is the Antichrist, causes all. Who are the all? All the people in, in, the, in the tribulation period, right? He causes all people in the tribulation period, both small and great, rich and poor, Free and bad, it just doesn't really matter what your status in life is, who you are, mm -hmm. right? You're educated or not educated. The Antichrist causes all of you to take that mark of the beast. But here's the thing. When you see, and he causes all that necessarily mean the Antichrist will, will make it, make it uh, uh, come true that all will have to take the mark of the beast because some will not, mm -hmm. right? There will be people. And it's going to be tough, very tough, for some people not to take the mark of the beast. And we'll take a look at it. Why? All right? Some will be beheaded for not taking the mark of the beast. So uh, what I could advise my uh, sister in the Philippines who, who doesn't have a need for God for now, okay, don't make the mark of the beast. Don't, don't take the mark of the beast. When, when the time comes, you just have to have your... Just cut my head. Cut my head and, you know, it will be better off. Okay? So... And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, Revelation 13, 13 16. And there are a lot of verses. We're not going to go into all of those because we will be out of time. Revelation 49, you've seen too, and Revelation 24, it, it is called his mark. Who is he? He is the Antichrist, his mark. The mark of the beast in Revelation 16, 2, 19, 19 20, that's the term used there is the mark of the beast, okay? And Revelation 14, 11, one, it, it is called the mark of his name. And who is he? He is the Antichrist, all right? Okay, so, and here's, here's, here's the, uh, here's the, uh, Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is, Six hundred three four and six, mm. so that is six six six. Mm -hmm. So, just by that verse alone, that's just a, so. If it's going to be in the in the right arm or in the forehead, does that literally mean there's a six 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 here or six 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 here? Who knows? I do not know. Yeah. All right, but that's what the Bible says. So, how how would that six 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 appear? Now. Uh, after this verse, nobody can, can really say how, how is it going to appear, all right? But there's a lot of speculations that came, uh, a lot of uh, uh, Bible scholars or Bible critics and whoever they are, and they come up here, so I messed it up, but uh, that's all right. You know that uh, uh, Vicari Woods, Philly Day, that is... Uh, that is the the uh, Pope. the Pope's uh, that that appears in his uh, in his uh, crown, mm -hmm. right? The carrying the carrying the and you know the the Roman Roman numerals, they have equivalent numbers on uh, on those uh, like V for example is five, right? A V mm -hmm. in Roman numerals yeah. is five, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, then uh, I is one. All right, mm -hmm. C is 100, L is 50, and D is 500, mm -hmm. right? So if you, you know, just, just, just for fun, okay, let's just do this just for fun. This is nothing, nothing biblical, nothing, just for fun. With that, a lot of people say, hey, probably the Antichrist is the Pope. Good chance. There, there <laughs> might be, maybe, right? Yeah. But we don't really know. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Five is 
then six, six pieces, six in one, one two, three, four, five, six of those uh, ones that's six. One C is a hundred, one L is fifty, and you sum them all up, the D is five hundred, P is six, 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 six. Now, but is that, there are, there probably there are other words that would sum up to six, six, six if you get the Roman numerals equivalents of them. So this is just for this is just for fun. Then what is what 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 is left there? A-R. Connect those connect those words. I was just I it was all black. Then I changed the color just to for me to identify. Then it's left with an F E A R U S. What? So when is this? What does that mean? Does that mean fear fear the United States or or fear us? Right. <laughs> So I was just, I was just uh, having fun with it. But you see, that is not biblical. But uh, people talk about that. Brother, brother T, you know about that, right? I heard about it. You heard about it. There are lots, lots of you who heard about that. But that is again <coughs> pointing to the Pope. But the truth of the matter is that we do not know who that person is. But the one thing definite, the Antichrist will come. Okay, so. And here's another verse, 13, 17 of Revelation. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had a mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So, Revelation 13, 17 says, the purpose of you having that mark of the beast is for you to be able to buy or sell. Now, if, uh, if uh, my sister in the Philippines survives and doesn't, doesn't uh, go, go, with, uh, go with us uh, on, on the rapture, then she, however, how, however rich she is, mm -hmm. she cannot buy anything until she gets the mark of the beast. So uh, there is a purpose for having that mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. There is a purpose and the purpose is to do business mm -hmm. or, to, or to buy something. So go to, go to jewel store and get some food, you won't, you won't get anything unless you have that mark or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and here's, here's a, I don't know if you guys, you guys have heard about this, this is the barcode, the barcode of uh, anything, the barcode of anything that you see a box like this, there's a barcode somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So you see them all over, and uh, you see, I heard about this before, and seen something like this before. But uh, you know, and here it is. It is so easy for 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 uh, for those uh, scanners to scan it, get the, get the information there, and get the price, right? When you buy something. But this, I, I didn't know what those what those mm -hmm. mean. Okay, but here they said, okay, see, see the six. It, it's two two straight lines like that, and the distance is is specific is specific distance. This is the same distance, but the other one is bigger, the other one is uh, thinner, all right? And then, so that is the six, and the dividing line here for the three is, this is supposed to be six, just like that, another six, another six. So what does that mean? Ah, probably they'll put a barcode in your hand or barcode in your forehead, so when you go, go to the, go to the hospital, and, oh, you're, you're Mark Pantaleon, and here's your sickness, and here's your age, here's your birth, and all that, all information, here's your account number. Probably that one, right? And, and during the time, this was, this was uh, everybody has this. I mean, every single thing that, that, uh, that uh, you need to buy has that. There's no more barter, you know, the barter, here's a box of potato, give me a box of corn, nothing like that, right? So, it was, there was a time that that was like right there. Everybody has that, and everybody needs that. So people say, oh, that is the, that is the sign. That is the sign of the, the Antichrist. So, but it's been a while, Antichrist hasn't shown up yet, right? Mm -hmm. So then, nothing biblical about it, but people talked about it, mm -hmm. right? And as we move on with the, with, with the technology, we have a, a new technology, oh, and you know, there's a lot of things that happen. Who has pets? What dogs? Dinky, you have a dog? Joe, Joe you have a dog? Joe. That's your dog. If it gets lost, it will go back to you. He knows how to go back. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> if I pick it up and I don't, you know, can, can you trace where your dog is? No. You're not high tech. You're low tech. Mm -hmm. right. low. Who has a dog who's got a chip? 
Lily, your dog Greg. You're high, you're not high tech either. No. All right. So nowadays there are things that they can they 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 can put before they have this collar and there's a number there mm -hmm. and uh, it identifies this dog is Greg Silvis dog. So this is Lily Silvis. This is the dog, right? So, but nowadays it's no longer like that. They have those chips. A microchip is so small, you know how, how small it is? It's like a grain of rice. A grain of rice, so an cooked one, okay? It's small like that, and all the, you know, it, it's like this, and it, it has an antenna, it has a capacitor, it has a microchip in there, and uh, it can be injected in somebody, it can be injected here, and it lives there, it stays there, right? And it can be injected anywhere because it's so tiny, and it stays there. And and uh, and when somebody somebody would like to 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 know who you are, they just scan you like that, or you probably go inside and there's a scanner there, and it identifies who you are, right? So we go to the jewel store, go to some vet groceries. When you get there, oh, you don't have you don't have this. You you cannot buy anything. You just go away, start to death, right? So get that's. This is the new technology now. I, I, is, it, is, it, is it a new technology? It's been there for a while. It's been there, been for, there for a while, time, right? But they improved it. Because remember, they the hardware it. before is so big. Right. Now so they make it smaller and smaller and more powerful. More capacity. More All right. So that's what these people uh, uh, work on that. See again? Is it, pos is it a possibility that something like this can be embedded in the head of the person? Yes. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Right? Then forget about those old technology. Forget about the barcodes. Mm -hmm. All right? The barcodes, it's, you know, probably it can be erased. But this one, once it's embedded there, mm -hmm. it remains there. But we do not know until the, uh, the Antichrist comes or the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Maybe they'll have something more, uh, much more smaller than this and much more powerful. I do not know. But here, as technology changes, you know, we see and we, we see the possibility of how the Antichrist can control the economy. The possibility of that. Because that is that is what the Antichrist will want to have. Uh, full control during the Great Tribulation period. Alright? So with all, all, all of those uh, all of those information, you know, maybe something will come up uh, later. But uh, here here's let's let's go to these verses this time. Okay. Revelation 49, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. The wrath of God? Nobody wants that, right? You know, you, you probably just... So, so those who... Those, uh, here's, here's my question. What is, so, what is so nasty about having the mark of the beast that your sentence will be the lake of fire, right? Take the mark of the beast. So what if, for, for example, if my sister, uh, she, you know, she doesn't want to take the mark of the beast, if I'm able to warn her, but uh, if, uh, if her daughter will be chopped, chopped uh, slowly chopped to death in front of her, she might say, Okay, okay, give me that mark of the beast. Just don't, don't, don't chop my daughter in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a possibility? Yes, that's a possibility because the explanation of how, how, uh, how, uh, uh, how terrible the Antichrist would be is that something that hasn't seen before, some, it, the, what's going to happen is something that hasn't been seen before, has not been done before, it's just so, it's just so terrible, you know? So if there's a possibility, possibility that the Antichrist will do something like yes, Definitely. So now my sister, in front of her, her daughter will be tortured to death. So, okay, give me the mark of the beast. She, she's wanting, oh, give me the mark of the beast. Why just, don't you just kill me? Right? But when she takes the mark of the beast, this, this information says she's doomed forever. She is not going to have any chance at all of getting saved. That's right. And by the way, there are some people who does not believe that there will be there will be some who will be saved in the tribulation period. There will be, and they are called the tribulation saints. You've studied that in uh, 
uh, in the Asian studies, we studied that here also with Brother Rod, right? There will be people who will get saved there, but it's going to be really, really tough. All right? So if you have life loved ones who, who are on that way, you better start warning them. But here, I want, here's what I want this verse. This would teach me right away that the reason why the sentence is so, or is, is uh, the lake of fire, because if you take the mark of the beast, it's just not as simple as, give me this mark of the beast, Don't just spare my son or spare my child, like that. Mm -hmm. It's not as simple as that. It involves what? It involves worship. Mm. Look at that. And the third thing you follow in the Lord was, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive, the receiving of the mark of the beast involves worship of the beast. Mm -hmm. And we, we all know, we, we all know that the only, the only, there's only one who's worthy of worship, mm -hmm. and that's, that's God, that Lord Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. So when somebody takes, my teacher takes the mark of the beast, it simply means that she is <coughs> going to worship the beast, all right? And God doesn't like that. And that, that, that's the, the very reason why the sentence is lake of fire. There's no other way for you to change. Okay? There's no other way to, to get that, uh, that sentence uh, uh, lowered or whatever. Okay? So, the same shall drink of the wine, the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of your torments ended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. With what, what place is this? This is the lake of fire, right? And they have no rest day or night, nor who worship the beast and his image, and who, whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So again, you, we have to understand that receiving the mark of the beast, receiving the mark of his name, receiving his mark, involves the worship of the beast. Now let's go back, let's go back in history. When did the, the Satan, Satan appeared to Jesus Christ, right? Took mm -hmm. him to a, 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 a high place, all right? And, uh, and uh, I think it's somewhere in Matthew. And do you remember that what, what did Satan uh, uh, tempted Jesus Christ with? You can, you see all those, those, uh, those areas there? This, this, uh, you can have them. I'm going to give them to you, all right? All you need to do is worship me. All those times. All those times that uh, uh, Satan was trying to 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 uh, to usurp the uh, the uh, throne of God, it is always about the worship. Mm -hmm. God deserves the worship, but Satan wanted it. To Lucifer before wanted wanted that 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 uh, that uh, uh, worship that is only uh, uh, worthy uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ or or for for God. All right, so. Let's take them here. Uh, if you take a look at these verses, there's a lot of them. If you read it in your uh, the Revelation 49, it, it refers to, to worship. Here are uh, 11, uh, 16, 2, 19, 20. They all regard, they're all regarding the worship. Okay? So, Satan, that's exactly what Satan wants. Okay? Here's Isaiah 14, 13. And uh, this is Lucifer, okay? Mm -hmm. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the stars, I will be like the most high. Mm -hmm. Satan wants to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see a lot of verses in the Word of God about how the Antichrist Satan wants the worship, and there's, there's uh, uh, in in in, uh, in our uh, and you probably studied this also during with, with Brother Rod that uh, uh, Satan uh, the, uh, the Antichrist will uh, will uh, sit in the throne in Jerusalem and pretending that he is God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So there's a verse there, and it will, we'll we'll uh, see it here some, some, somewhere. Okay. Matthew 4. Again, the devil take it to out. Oh, here's what I was talking about, okay? Exceeding high mountain, and Jews all the kings of the world, and the glory of them, and they unto him, saying unto him, and to Jesus Christ, all these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down, and what? And worship me. That is exactly what is involved in Satan's mind, 
and and uh, and that uh, having the mark of the beast, it simply means take this and worship me. Then said he unto him, Get me and Satan, for it's written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou worship. Right? Then here's, uh, here's, here's, and uh, this is what I was talking about. Second Thessalonians 2, 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, that, that, that day the coming, the, the, the coming of the, uh, the uh, Antichrist, uh, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, okay, who, I mean, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ comes first, then the, the son of perdition, mm -hmm. the, the, the Antichrist will be revealed, okay, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God, seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, that is Satan, all right? It has always been his desire, it has always been his, his uh, ambition to be like God. That's why uh, he, he ended up, uh, he was kicked out in heaven, kicked out from heaven. And here's, here's, uh, here's uh, another verse, Revelation 16, 2, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, so there fell a noise, a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Or all those uh, they get they get the punishment there, okay. Um, and here, here, help me out on this, okay. When I first see the ink horn, that that ink horn, okay. Ezekiel 9:3, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had a writer's ink horn by his side, set a mark upon the foreheads of the man, okay. Uh, I do not know. I do not know how what kind of ink is there, but uh, the horn probably there's an ink in there that you know a permanent like a permanent marker and they, mm -hmm. they write it on some, some somewhere else, okay? And it's supposed to be if you write something in the forehead, the skin there's there's oil here in the skin. Mm -hmm. Somewhere somehow after a few days or a few weeks or a few months it will disappear, right? But you see in in this. Uh, there is an old on account in your uh, brother brother Rod's lessons with you. Remember the 144,000, 144,000 Jews, right? 12,000 from each tribe. They get also a mark. What kind of mark is it? The mark in the name of Jehovah, right? So what what does exactly mean? Does it say Jehovah, or uh, it, it could be like that, or or there, is there a shortcut for Jehovah, like uh, an initial for Jehovah? There is, but how is it written? It is talking about an ink horn like this, and it's written as, as you know, to identify who those 144,000 uh, uh, Jews are. Okay, so now, if this is something, if this is something that would uh, uh, that the Antichrist would use to to put that mark, that mark of the beast in the in the forehead or in the arm, I have no idea. All right, anybody here knows uh, how is it going to be? Give me a permanent marker that will really be permanent. There's not. It will, be, it will disappear, right? No permanent marker. But anyway, uh, just so, you know, that is, that is uh, in Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 3 and 4. Okay? So, and the beast was taken. Here's another verse here. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets that crossed miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, that wrought miracles, okay? And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet. The false prophet that wrought miracles, they have power. Mm -hmm. They can do miracles, okay? That is why, uh, you know, those, those uh, 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 signs and wonders. You have studied signs and wonders with Brother Rod as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there are people who do this for money. You know them, right? Mm -hmm. In the television, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and they put somebody in the forehead and they're supposed to fall. If you're, you do not fall, you're, you do not want to fall like that, you're hard-headed, or you, you don't want to, to follow the script, okay? You don't want to follow the, the play. You don't want to fall or you don't have faith, get out of here, right? And those that fell like that and they fell, somebody will catch them. You know what I'm talking about, right? The television, uh, uh, faith, uh, faith killers. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. But what if? They really have the powers. 
what did they really have the power? But the power that comes not from God, mm -hmm. right? From 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 the evil one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know when uh, who was that uh, Ben Hinn when he takes his coat off and mm -hmm. goes and all your all of you there he is supposed to be supposed to fall down like that, mm -hmm. right? And they are they they do it all together. I don't know they practice a lot or maybe they have some power. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know the, the, the false prophet, the Bible says. They, they they can bring in miracles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can they can they can uh, have miracles. But, uh, but again, you know, the true healer is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. And once the Lord Jesus Christ heals, that takes care of it. So uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that uh, we have, like uh, I'm so worried about uh, about uh, uh, Ian's baby, Jillian. She's like a month and uh, a week, month and a week old. A month and three weeks. A month, a month and, and month and a half, right? So much. In and out, in and out of the hospital. She's now in the hospital. They're gonna poke her again, take some blood, and check what's, what's going on. She's been in the hospital probably four times or five times, and now she's and uh, it's scary. It's scary, but uh, all we need to do is just pray. I, I pray. I heard that uh, she she was rushed to the hospital again last night. All you need to do is just pray, and Lord, please spare that child, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, whatever the doctors there, the doctors in that uh, hospital there, they can God can use them as instruments to 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 uh, uh, get the child uh, well. Mm -hmm. But you see, going back to this lesson, there there will be those those false prophets. They are they are uh, they are uh, satanic, okay. Mm -hmm. But they have powers. Excuse me. Uh, can I say no? Sure. Yeah, we, you know, we, here in America, it seems like uh, because of the um, uh, civilization, the yeah. development, and they don't feel so much about these standard activities, like mm -hmm. this in Africa. Mm -hmm. It is real. I mean, uh, oh, it's, okay. It is real, and um, um, you know, many pastors. Uh -huh. Uh, we have these Catholic churches, mushrooming everywhere. I mean, right where we live, uh -huh. they are starting churches everywhere. Just because the economy is very um, hard, uh -huh. you know, people find it because even food to eat. Uh -huh. And um, that is West Africa, right? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. And then the lot of a lot of certain activities, people live in fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See. People can do something to you, maybe sometimes if you offend. Uh -huh. Offend, he can do something to you, and uh, do you eventually die. Uh -huh. uh, you go to hospital, they will never find what is wrong with you, mm -hmm. and you will die. They use voodoo, you know. Oh, the voodoo. Oh, yeah, it's yes, real, yes, yes. it's real, I'm telling you. Wow. Uh -huh. And um, because of that, uh, these people have taken advantage of, of that. They go to uh, some uh, voodoo man, they get uh -huh. powers. Uh -huh. They get powers to do the church work. Uh -huh. You see, sometimes he has a handkerchief, uh -huh. and that's the power in the handkerchief. <laughs> you see, and if he waves like this, people will be falling, be falling down. Oh, so okay. when, when, when I was a child, when they have their um, voodoo, fest, that's why the term I have to use. That's how you can understand uh -huh. festival. Uh -huh. You know, uh, we have women who were possessed. Uh -huh. And you know, and they possess and will dancing, you know, and they, they have to hold it. When the spirit, when the evil spirit comes on them. Uh -huh. So this is what Africa is. I mean, mm -hmm. it's everywhere in Africa. It is real. Yes, yes. You see? So the preachers will go and get power. And people will be coming. Sometimes they get just power to bring people to the church. So uh -huh. as soon as they start the church, people flock into the place. I mean, hundreds of people. Going to go to church. Yeah, because they are attracted to the yes, attracted, yes. and the, the yes, uh, yes. natural that yes. happens. Like and this. because they they want security. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. See, from from the powers of uh, darkness. See, uh huh. They want to be secure. Right. And they want sometimes they sometimes they will somebody you know we have this open market. The woman said, you will go to the pastor. The pastor pray for me that uh, people will you know when I go to the market to sell I will make. Business, and my business will flourish, and so on. So they get go to the pastor, mm -hmm. get powers from the pastor. Uh, so you a pastor? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So that they can pastor can pray sometimes. 
they have certain things, oil, you know, some like they, they will tell you what to do with the oil and so on, so that you can have, sometimes some people, somebody wants want her husband, uh -huh. the woman wants her husband, <laughs> so he'll go to, she'll go to the pastor to, to, to power, to attract, uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. But obviously those are not Baptist pastors that would no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. No, no, yeah. that's not what I'm trying to say what to see here. Uh -huh. It's really it's still going on. Uh -huh. yeah. But, but uh, see, it is, uh, like I just said, it's a lying wonder. It's lying. Yeah, it's a lying it's, wonder. There's no truth. That's true. On the lying yeah. truth. Yeah. Right. And when the time, when this time comes, when the Antichrist comes, okay, I'm talking of the Great, great Tribulation period of seven years. You know, people, in, including the Jewish people, will believe that the Antichrist is indeed the Messiah that they've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the miracles that he's going to do, the lying wonders, as uh, I may use your term, the lying wonders that will be shown in there, people will believe. Yes. And he will be sitting in the throne in Jerusalem, and people would hail him as, as God, mm -hmm. right? That's what we've seen in the Thessalonians. And uh, yes, indeed, we have seen glimpses of that. Now you've seen, seen a lot of that in Africa. We've seen a lot of uh, those in the Philippines. We call them quack dogs, right? But some of them are just... Are just yeah, you know, yeah, they, they uh, seem to uh, be able to heal somebody for, for a short period of time. And sometimes they just, uh, they just are faint. Right, they operate on something, but they hide something there, or there's a blood there, but it's a blood of a, a chicken, or, or any of the of chicken like that, they pull out something, you know, they, they, those are all, those are all deceased, alright? But again, yes, there, there is this, uh, this lying wonder that uh, has been going on, but it will be worse during this time, this is the Great Tribulation period. That's something that we haven't seen. Whatever it is that you've seen in, in Africa, when the Antichrist starts doing those things, those things that he needs to do, on the second half of the Great Tribulation period, that will be really, really terrible. And then uh, it seems okay. like uh, um, the phenomenon we've seen is they're able to win the women more. Oh yes, yes, because More people, than men, you know, that is why that is why we really need to get the word of God to those people there. All right? Because apart from the word of God, you know, they, first of all, apart from the word of God they won't be saved. Right? So again, uh, it's it's tough, but praise God, uh, brother, that you are doing what you're supposed to do in that area there and we appreciate you. Okay? So uh, let me see if I have another one here. And here's, here's probably our last verse. And I saw, as it were, a seal glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Who are they? Uh, of course, those who did not get the mark. Okay? And over the number of his names, and the seal glass having the hearts of God. Who are these? These are called the tribulation saints. Right? And uh, you would probably include the 144,000 uh, a Jewish from 12,000 from uh, each, each tribe of the nation Israel. So there will be people who will, who will not take the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Probably hide in the mountains. they can hide in the mountains and, it, you know, survive there for seven years. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, but it's really, it's really not, it's not going to be easy because the Antichrist will just go after them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, again, we can prevent. We can prevent some. We can prevent uh, all of these people to stay away from the smart from the beast, stay away from great tribulation period. But we can, if just one of us can just can just win one. I will try to win that that daughter. Of that mean that uh, that uh, uh, sister of mine in the Philippines who doesn't have a need for that for now. I'll try to win her. That is that is you know that is the best uh, thing that I could. Uh, I could uh, do for my sister. You mm -hmm. also have relatives who are unsafe. Mm -hmm. Okay, you warn them, scare them. If you have to scare, scare them of this uh, mark, of the mark of the beast. Yeah. And then, you know, and people nowadays, even those who doesn't study the word of God, when you say the word six six six, they know there's something wrong with it. They know there's some evil in it. You know that that number six six six. I don't. Who has who who wants to have a a a house 
Would you buy a house in in a nice neighborhood with the address is six 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 cemetery lane or whatever? <laughs> you don't want that, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want your license plate to be six six six. I have seen one, probably that that that, that, that that's uh, uh, an atheist, word, but that that is that is uh, you know uh, something that we can scare people about, warn them about, but seriously, seriously. All they need to do is get saved for them to escape the great inflation fear and escape this, uh, this uh, uh, mark of the beast and this beast and this, uh, this antichrist. All right, we're done. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. No questions. Let's get uh, dismissed in prayer. Brother Tim, you do this in prayer, please. Dear Lord Jesus, uh, thank you for another Sunday school lesson, Lord, and thank you for people that are searching your word and. Mm -hmm. Presenting good uh, topical lessons, Lord, and yeah. mm -hmm. pray, Lord, for our relatives, our family members, people we work with. Uh, mm -hmm. We just, Lord, we're not very good Christians sometimes. I'm not, and I'm not, Lord, but I pray that somehow we would be able to influence them, that they yes, would be open to getting saved, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't have to go into the Great Tribulation, and worse, go into the Lake of Fire. So we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.